Booming Thunder Radio. Where we groove as the spirit moves. Yeah. Drawing the honey from the rock. With the righteous Reverend Doctor on Booming Thunder Radio. Welcome, mighty friends, to the Fourth Watch. I'm Brother T.C. with the Elijah Ministries coming at you live from down in the bayou, y'all. Yeah, with a word from the living water. Yeah, where wisdom revealed herself to us this day. Yea, the place where the mighty blade went forth into the word and revealed the mysterious way of everlasting before us. Yea, I hope that you walk in the spirit away from mystery Babylon forevermore. Yea, that the wiles of the wicked and the whore of Mystery Babylon would not have grips upon you. That you could become like that little two-year-old son of yours, so innocent, so absolutely heavenly perfected, given unto each of us for that moment to transfigure us in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, the love of the Father for the Son. Yea, revealed before all time. And so, let us each seek a humble and contrite spirit while we walk upon the earth. For Mary Yehovah says that heaven is his throne and the earth, it is his footstool. Where then is a house you could build for Mary Yehovah? Hmm? And where is a place that Mary Yehovah may rest with each and every soul. Hmm? Where could that place be? Yea, heaven, inside your heart. Yea, the tabernacle of David, the tabernacle of your mind, for mighty Father Yehovah to come and rest. Yea, on the mercy seat. That the love of the Son in each of our hearts would manifest the hope of glory as we take each step and each breath along the earth. Knowing that our Father's and His Son, yea, beats, yea, like the firmament of the sun within each of our hearts within each of our minds. For our hands, yea, those hands of our very Father, our Creator's hands in our hands, yea, the Son's right hand of the Father, yea, Father to Son, Father to Son, humble and contrite in spirit, each generation more humble than the next, waiting the day, the moment, the hour their father spoke of that one time, making it clear they could never say these words again. Yea, for Mary Yehovah's hand has made all things Yea, through his son, Yehoshua, 
Yea, thus all these things came into being, declares mighty Yehovah. This is, yea, but to this one the eyes will look. To him who is humble and contrite in spirit, who trembles at mighty Yehovah's word. Who kills an ox is who slays a man. Who he who sacrifices a lamb, yeah, giving a member of his flock out to graze, is the one who breaks a dog's neck, yeah, to destroy and behead, to cut off, yeah, that hanging fruit. He who offers a grain, yea, a grain offering, which this is really the way that I interpret it, is really a meat offering. It's wanting a living sacrifice, but it's being brought a, a dead sacrifice, a meat offering. Those people that do that offer swine's blood. And he who burns incense to idols and blesses them, yea, their ways are abomination. For they have chosen their own ways and their very own soul's delight, not that of our Father, not that of the everlasting glory upon the earth in each man's heart. So the eyes will choose their punishments and will bring on them what they dread because the eyes called, but no one answered. The eyes spoke, but they did not listen. And they did evil in my sight, says mighty Jehovah, and chose that in which the eyes did not delight. Hmm. Hear the word of mighty Jehovah, you who tremble at his word, your brothers who hate you, who exclude you for my name's sake, have said, Let mighty Yehovah be glorified, that we may see your joy. But they will be put to shame. A voice of uproar from the city, voice from the temple, voice of mighty Yehovah, who is rendering recompense to his enemies. So rejoice with Jerusalem. Pray for the peace every day. Yea, before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she gave birth to a boy. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Can a land be born in one day? Can a nation be brought forth all at once? As soon as Zion travailed, she also brought forth her sons. Shall the eyes bring to the point of birth and not give delivery? Says Mare Yehovah. Hmm? Or shall the eyes who give delivery 
shut. Says your God. Be joyful with Jerusalem and rejoice for her, all you who love her. Be exceedingly glad with her, all you who mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied with her comforting breasts that you may suck and be delighted with her bountiful bosom. For thus says Maria Behold, the eyes extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you will be nursed. You will be carried on the hip and fondled on the knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so the eyes will comfort you. And you will be comforted in Jerusalem. Then you will see and your heart will be glad and your bones will flourish like the new grass and the hand of Maria will be known to his servants but he will be indignant toward his enemies. Shema Israel. And all those that surround her. For behold, Mariahovah will come in fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. Like a mighty rushing wind, Nehemiah. You witnessed it yourself, doubt it not to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For Mariahova, he will execute judgment by fire and his sword on all flesh. And those slain by Mariahova will be many. Those who sanctify and purify themselves to the gardens, yea, let us be found worthy, following one in the sinner who eats swine's flesh. Hmm. Those who satisfy and purify themselves to the gardens, following one in the sinner who eats swine's flesh, detestable things and mice, will come to an end altogether, declares Mariahova. Hmm. Who eats swine's flesh. A hog, a boar, a swine, a kazir. In 1320, ye yeah, the flesh. Yeah, like a double clutch down a freeway of a quarter mile, eight second run. Mm. For the glory of the everlasting Father, may it be done. Seven eighty eight. Yea, for the glory of mighty Yahovah. For the eyes know their works and their thoughts. The time is coming to gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see mighty Yahovah's glory. 
Yea, the everlasting glory upon the earth, the living word, living and breathing, sharper than any double-edged sword in a man's heart and mind. Yea, let each of us yea, see what the eyes will set a sign among them and will send survivors from them to the nations. Tarshish. Ooh, a place in the Mediterranean. A merchant ship. Also the name of a Persian and of an Israelite. Tarshish. Tharshis. Put lewd and Mesek, foreign name, to Baal, post alluvian patriarch, and his posterity to Baal, some kind of other little, little G. A Javan. Hmm. To the distant coastlines that have neither heard the Father's fame nor seen the Father's glory, mighty Yahovah, Son, Yahoshua, living and breathing in a man's heart and mind before them. And they will declare mighty Yahovah's glory among the nations. Then they shall bring all your brethren from all the nations as a grain offering, yea, as a living sacrifice to mighty Yehovah, on horses, in chariots, in litters, on mules, and on camels, to the holy mountain, Jerusalem, says mighty Yehovah, just as the sons of Israel Yea, bring their green, bring their own living sacrifice in a clean vessel to the house of mighty Yehovah. Yea, each one a living sacrifice full of green. Yea, freely given to the birds in forgiveness for their wickedness, the knowing of their deeds jumping of the fish, yeah, and the roaring of the lion. The eyes will also take some of them for priests, for Levites, says Mary Yehovah. For just as the new heavens and the new earth, which the eyes will make, will endure before Mali Yehovah, declares, he declares, so your offspring and your name will endure. And it shall be from new moon to new moon and from Sabbath to Sabbath. All mankind will come to bow down before Mali Yehovah, Ye, in his everlasting glory, the sun within a man's heart and mind, each one a humbled, willing vessel on their knees each morning, seeking the kingdom of light and the righteousness of the king, Yahushua, ye, mighty Jesus, ye. Know which Jesus you're serving because there are many that are deceivers with this Jesus. No, the Hebrew is not corrupted by mystery Babylon. Dig deep into the Hebrew. <clears throat> then they will go forth and look on the corpses of the men 
who have transgressed against my Yehovah. Ye spoken words against the everlasting Father. The Son comes and for their worm will not die, and their fire will not be quenched. Yea, and they will be an arborance to all mankind. Yeah, because that wash tub, once full of worms, was bound by chains and dumped. Yeah, in the roots of the sycamore tree out front. Yea, we rinse the dirt and the sponge and let it wash into the roots of the tree and set that number five wash tub back up in the yellow submarine and it began to rain for a week or two and it filled it up. But there was none who came that wanted to get their feet washed and become a disciple. None came singing the song of ye, the song of Moshe. Ye, I hope that you was strong enough to fight your way through yesterday on the Sabbath day and with your family and rest. Best way you can with them. And we give thanks for our family, mighty Father, and all that you are bringing forth in the fruits of their wombs. Yea, may they be sanctified for your service now and forever. Yea, even before the birthing in their womb. Yea, that their mother's right hand would be upon them forever. And their father's gentle nature and broad shoulders would be as an eagle soaring upon the snow-capped mountain. Yea, mighty friends, what more can a man do in this life? Can he hover in faith that the Son of Everlasting would come forth from the woman's womb he loves? Yea, let it be made so, mighty Father, Let the joy in Jerusalem's future be in each of our hearts that your word would be made true that upon the counting of the Oma, yea, that the thrusting forth would come and be revealed by your son, Yahushua, yea which is mighty Jehovah's mind within you. 